Hello everyone. Now let us start 1.3 of NCERT class 7. So in this part we will be learning about multiplication of integers and I have already explained in my first video about the multiplication of integers. So we will just apply that concept to find the answers of the given questions in the exercise. Okay, so let's start. Let's start 1.3 of NCRT plus 7. First of all, we have question number 1 in which we need to product the given numbers. Can anyone tell me what is the difference between multiplication and product? So we need to multiply 3 with minus 1 as I've already told you that minus and this number is positive. Okay, so ne positive number into negative number. The answer will be what? Negative and the product of these numbers is equal to 3. It is that easy. You just have to multiply. Okay. So the second part is again having a positive number and a multi uh, negative number multiplied. So the answer is a negative number. Next, the C part is of two negative numbers. So the answer will be minus minus plus. So answer is positive. Next for D part. Again, we have two negative numbers, so the answer is positive. I hope you have got the concept behind the question number one. So, rest of the questions you can do it by yourself. Let's go for the second question. In this, we need to verify the LHS and the RHS. So, this is the LHS part and this is the RHS part. We have to calculate both separately and see if the answers are equal. Breaking up the negative sign, we have got this. So we have got our LHS. Similarly, we will solve for RHS and we will get the answer same as that of LHS. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Okay. So in the same manner, you can do the uh, second part of the question number two. Okay. So let's go to question number three. In this, we need to find if A is multiplied with minus one, then what we will get is, of course, that will be minus of a okay for the second part the same thing we need to prove with the given numbers like if a is equal to minus 22 then minus 22 into minus 1 will be how much 22 right so in this way we can do the rest of the parts see 0 into minus 1 will be 0 only because 0 is neither a positive number nor a negative number understood for the next question question number 4 <clears throat> We need to uh, show some patterns starting with minus 1 into 5 to show that minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to 1. That is minus minus the, is positive. So we need to just show some examples. It is very easy. So we have infinite number of examples to show this property. Okay. So I think this much is enough. You can find many examples from your own. Now the question number 5. In this, there are certain uh, questions parts are given and we need to find the product by using suitable properties. Remember this, you have to use suitable properties. Okay. So what is distributive property? Let me explain you first. Along with associative property and commutative property, we have another property, distributive property that is very important and it states that if a number is multiplied with this kind of uh, bracket, then actually that number is multiplied with each of the components under the bracket. Okay. That means a is multiplied with both B and C. Okay. For example, if 7 is multiplied with the sum of 3 and 2, then actually that means 7 is multiplied with both 3 and 2. Understood? So both the answers will be same. Let me do this for you. This is the LHS part and this will be same as the RHS part. Okay. So this is distributive property. So we will have to use this property to find the uh, answers of the next questions. We cannot directly multiply it. Always remember it is asked that using suitable property. So you have to use property. Like for the first part, minus 48 is common in both the terms. Now I need to explain one more thing here. The number of terms. So how many number of terms do you see here? Students, there are only two terms as marked here. There are only two terms. Always remember positive and negative plus and minus segregates the terms 
and multiplication doesn't segregate the term it is considered as one term and it is considered as another term the only positive plus and minus will segregate the terms okay so there are two terms and minus 48 is common to both of them so we will take minus 48 common and now from this term if we take out minus 48 then what is left here 26 right and in the next term if we take for minus 48 common from this term then what is left there minus 36 right so my uh, 26 and minus 36 will be inside the bracket and minus 48 i have taken common so we will now simply use the bodmas rule so you have to mention the property you have used in the particular question okay for each of the question so by applying bodmas we have got this and by multiplication we will get the answer to be 480 positive 480 understood everyone so let us take another part to understand more properly so students can you tell me how many terms are there here yes there are two terms again and we have 625 common here remember this this is minus 625 okay so if we take out 625 then the minus will remain here otherwise if we are taking minus 625 as common then you have to put a minus sign here also so you have to understand this part so to make it simple we will just take 625 and not minus 625 as the common uh, common number okay now if we take out 625 from this term first term what will be remaining minus 35 yes and if we take 625 from this term what will remain this is that minus and 65 remains here okay this minus will be remaining and with 65 okay by using distributive property we are doing this now applying uh, bodmas rule we can solve this to get our answer okay now one very easy part i'll show here in this also you have to apply properties that is, that is distributive property like this so that we will get the answer as 336 okay so we have applied distributive property here you can write this so let me take the last example and which is very important in fact so this is our last example in which we have two terms which are the terms can you see that so these are the two terms we have here and 57 is common to both of them okay so we will take 57 as common and what is left is okay is it any uh, is it creating any confusion see minus and minus will become plus 19 okay 57 is taken out and minus is remaining there so minus and minus will be positive uh, 57 is alone here so we need to see that what is multiplied with 57 if we take out 57 then what will remain here that is actually 1 because 57 is multiplied with 1 only so if we take out 57 then 1 remains there understood everyone so this answer will be understood one more part very important is here let me do this for you and we have oh we have 29 here okay not 19 it is 29 so in both the cases uh, the answer will be same we will be applying a distributive property here and we will split this 29 like this such that minus 30 plus 1 will be minus 29 only so if we are multiplying uh, 17 with 29 it would be easy for us to multiply 17 with 30 and then 17 with 1 and then do the calculation it is very easy to calculate okay so this is how we will use our distributive property and we will get the answer as So you can do the rest of the calculation and get the answer okay now let us move to question number six and which is a word problem giving uh, talking about the temperatures which states that initial temperature of the room is 40 degrees celsius and it is to be lowered at the rate of five degree every hour so since it is decreasing therefore we will be putting this negative sign here okay per hour so if we are decreasing my uh, 5 degrees celsius per hour then in 10 hours how many uh, how many temperature i mean how much temperature will be decreased that is simply multiplying these two see students this negative sign indicates that the temperature is actually decreasing okay so the final temperature of the room will be simply adding both to both of the uh, temperatures so the answer is minus 10 degrees celsius so the next question is question number seven in which it is given that 10 question uh, test is was there and five marks is awarded for correct answer and minus two is awarded for uh, is awarded for incorrect answer i think this should be the testing way of all the schools right the negative 
there should be negative marking because finally you have to take the risk of negative marking so you should be trained like that so that is the another matter to discuss let us get back to your question so mohan gets four correct answer and six incorrect answer so the statement says that for correct answer five marks is awarded so and for incorrect answers minus two is given so if a student does four correct and six incorrect that means just multiply with the marks awarded and add the both of the numbers so the answer is understood similarly for the second part we have five correct answers and five incorrect answers so we will get our answer as 15 marks okay in the third part hina have attempted seven questions so it is given in the question that uh, if if they are not attempting any question so zero marks is given so that part is not required the calculation is based on the seven questions that have been attempted by hina and that is two correct and five incorrect so we will be adding this and get zero marks i mean we will not get zero marks hina will get zero marks okay so you cannot write this uh, write like this okay i'm just using shortcut never use any kind of shortcut okay already maths mathematics have given you some sort of short shortcuts uh, to use out of those which are used in your book itself if some shortcuts is not used by your book you cannot use this okay remember this always so let us go to question number 8 in which two bags two kinds of cements are there and white cement will fetch you 8 rupees profit per bag and gray cement will give you 5 rupees per bag loss so accordingly we will have to answer the questions so white cement is plus plus 8 rupees per bag and gray cement is minus 5 rupees per bag this minus sign means loss okay so just like the uh, previous question we will be multiplying the number of uh, white cement bag with profit and number of gray cement bag with loss loss okay so this is profit and loss and it will be summing up to get our answer as so minus 1000 i think all of you by now all of you have understood that why this minus is coming because the whole transaction is showing negative means the whole transaction is a loss therefore there is loss of 1000 rupees similarly for b part it is given that gray bags are sold 6400 gray bags are sold so obviously loss is done so what should be the number of white bags means to be so, uh, sold so that there is no loss so we need to find the number of white cement okay see for uh, if we need no loss no gain then the loss will be actually equal to gain right let us first find what is loss so that would be 6400 into minus 5 that is 32000 see minus 5 this will be minus of course but that is not important because i have already mentioned that it is loss okay this negative sign means loss so and i don't have to put minus here you can of course put here but that is not necessary for this part because there is meaningless because we have already stated that this is loss okay so now we will be finding the uh, profit as it should be equal to 32000 and the uh, number of uh, the profit per bag is 8 rupees so number of white cement bag will be equal to 32000 divided by 8 okay so the answer is 4000 bags okay so 4000 white cement bags is to be sold to get no profit no loss so the next question is question number 9 in which fill in the blanks is given and we need to fill it with so that the statement is true so this is very easy that minus 3 is should be multiplied with what number to get 27 remember plus 27 so yes it is minus 9 right so 5 into what should be uh, would be minus 35 that is Minus thirty-five, simple. And in the next part, what should be multiplied with minus eight to get minus fifty-six? That is equal to seven. Yes. And in the third, for and fourth part, you can do this very easy. So this is the end of this video. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. And keep practicing.